some of the downside. And fortunately, like I said, I think I think all things considered, it's turned out pretty well. But I, I'm just trying to remember this in the future and and use my experiences to make good decisions and account for risk accurately. And that's that's one of my biggest takeaways from the whole thing. Well, who does it? Who's it affect? So we, you know, we talked about it could it could have affect Polly if if that would have went forward there. Who else does it affect? Like just just whales or like just for people out there wondering, does it affect them? Should they be concerned? Does it really matter? Like, yeah, what would you say, say to that? I think it my, my thought some strategies is is that yeah. That's what I was gonna say, Maxim. It's just like some people may have built a strategy, like assuming that that was gonna happen. But then yes. it's the same thing again. Like it's a brand new product and like, yeah, cool. Like you were gunning for something. It didn't quite work out. The world's not burning. Rome is still there, right? Like everything is still fantastic. And and you could even see the bright sides uh, that yeah. are coming out of this. And, yes. not, and I'm not just talking about that first year that I mentioned earlier in this video. I'm talking about the benevolence of the SA. When, right. when like the levers that that this person has that they can pull push and pull to make the ecosystem better the sa could have done nothing the sa was in full in in their full rights of not doing anything for poly absolutely but that was not the road that the sa went down the sa went down the high road and was proving the benevolence yet again and you know max you know i was on your show talking about benevolence and about mm -hmm. ESA and, and, and the deployer address and what it's been doing this whole time. it All it does is, is prove its benevolence. And we should be very thankful that we have that kind of actor. Right. Running. You literally had a slide called Proof of Benevolence. I sure did. It's important. It's, it's amazing. I, it's, I love that it happened. That's a great thing for the community. I kind of feel like the 20%, this might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but in my mind, this makes me think of the pennies before trains thing. Like if, if Hedron works, the 20% ICOSA bonus is really, it's going to have meaning, but it's in the, in the big picture, 20% more, I mean, off of one stake is, is to me, not, not that valuable. Like what I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's when we're looking at, you know, potential multiples of 10 or a hundred X or something, I just don't think it really matters. And, and I want the projects to do well and actually have price appreciation, the the little bit difference in yield that really only a, I think only is going to affect a few people, the bigger players. Um, it really doesn't matter that much to me. I I, I want to see the whole ecosystem itself do well, and I think that's where the real real money is going to be made. Yeah, yeah it kind of shook. I was just thinking it, it kind of shook you like oh. Be lucky you get any yield at all. Be lucky you get any yield at all. Look what just happened. Yeah, yeah. It does make you thankful in a way. I, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, look, look back yeah. at at hex. Just look at hex. Like at the beginning, like we're all looking at the APYs and stuff, and we're like, this is amazing. Like, look at the yield. And then you fast forward two years, and the yield wasn't really that important, was it? It was the price appreciation. So back in the early days, we're always worried about the yield, right? Like just like we are right now. But what are we going to be looking at a year, two years down the road? It, we might not care at all. That was a great point. Hmm. That's a great point, Maxim.